The aim of facial thoracic treatments is to intensively exercise the individual muscles or group of muscles in the face to firm and tone them, which produces a firmer look to the contours of the face. Most modern thoracic machines have both face and body outlets on them. My name is Selena and in this lesson you will learn the effects of thoracic treatments, contraindications to thoracic treatments, how to prepare for a thoracic treatment and how to carry out a thoracic treatment. Thoracic, also known as an electrical muscular stimulation EMS unit, often referred to as neuromuscular electrical stimulation. Some beauty therapists simply call the unit by its trade name such as Ultratone, Slender Tone or Slim Master. Whatever the name, a thoracic unit is a machine which induces the muscles to contract and relax through stimulation of the motor nerves within the belly of the muscle. As the client has no control over this muscular contraction and there is no physical movement of the body from A to B, it is called a passive exercise. And as there is no movement of the joints or limbs, it is form of isometric exercise. It is extremely effective on both smaller facial muscles and on larger muscle groups within the body. Isometric exercise is also known as static strength training. Examples include many yoga poses such as chair and tree poses. They are all exercise that involve holding a position rather than moving as it is in the case with isotonic exercise. The thoracic current. Modern beauty therapy equipment combines various types of medium to low frequency currents. The type of current used is an alternating low frequency surge and interrupted current. The source of electricity can be either the mains or a battery. Pulse sequence and waveforms. This is the waveform of phasic control and has four types. Biphasic, regular pulse, monophasic, regular pulse, biphasic, irregular pulse, and monophasic, irregular pulse. Biphasic regular pulse are electrical impulses that pass in both directions between the paths giving a good firming, toning and strengthening treatment to the muscles. It's used for facial work. Monophasic regular pulse, electrical impulses pass in only one direction, helping to lift the muscles being treated. When a monophasic pulse sequence is selected, the black negative pad should always be placed on the insertion of the muscle and the red positive on the origin. Remember this as bio, black insertion, red origin, so that the black pad is always below the red. The muscle fibres are then lifted towards the origin. This is recommended for use on face and neck muscles and also indicated for physiotherapy work. Biphasic irregular pulse. This aids variety and is useful for the nervous client who clinches the muscles in anticipation of the current. Neither the client nor the therapist knows the pattern. This would only apply in body treatments. Monophasic irregular pulse. The irregular pulse sequence is designed to aid in the treatment of nervous or tense clients. The pulses come in groups of three and five, and due to the irregularity of the impulses, the client cannot anticipate the muscle contraction, thereby avoiding discomfort during treatment. This would apply in facial thoracic work and could be used halfway through the course of treatment to keep the muscles working hard. Contraction and relaxation settings. These settings may be altered to give a longer or shorter length of muscle contraction and will vary according to the client's muscle tone. Weak muscles should be exercised on a lower setting, that is 1.5 seconds on and 1.5 seconds off, with the setting increased as muscle tone improves. You will need to adjust the timings of the contraction and relaxation 
so that the relaxation time is never less than the contraction time. For facial thoracic work, the setting should be monophasic regular pulse, a type of work for facial setting at 120 hertz or 90 microseconds. Precautions during facial thoracic work. Just like normal exercising, the muscles work more efficiently after some form of a warm-up. For a facial treatment, this could be a steam treatment, infrared application, hot towels or manual massage. This will prevent muscle damage. After treatment, lymphatic drainage should be carried out for a few minutes as lactic acid will have accumulated in the muscles as a byproduct of oxygen and nutrient exchange. Ensure surge speed is not too slow as this will make the muscle contraction too long which would be uncomfortable for the client. Never exercise a muscle to the point of no reaction, that is muscle fatigue. Always reduce the current around the eyes, bony areas and where there are fillings or dentures. Never give treatment over areas where metal has been replaced as tissue or around a mouth with excessive fillings. Always readjust the placement point if the client experiences discomfort or is required exercise is not being produced. Keep pads dampened with saline solution or gel throughout the treatment. Ensure the amount of current flowing is minimal at the beginning. Always have the machine facing the therapist so that you can constantly check the dials. There are not many contraindications to thoracic because it is an action very similar to natural movement, but there are instances where it should not be applied or where medical guidance should be sought before treatment. If clients are unaware of the state of their health, then it is advisable to ask them to check with their doctor before treatment, especially as facial treatment plan will probably include other treatments and factors. Contraindications may include failure of sensitivity or thermal tests, muscle disease, history of strokes, facial paralysis or Bell's palsy. Bell's palsy responds well to EMS, but should only be carried out in a medical physiotherapy contest. Skin cuts, grazes, inflammation, sunburn, etc. Small breaks in the skin may be protected by a small piece of plaster or Vaseline. Pregnancy, especially the early stages, and after birth until a doctor's clearance is given, usually around six weeks, after operations. All scars in the treatment area can cause discomfort if the skin has an underlying adhesion or is taut or pluckered. Epilepsy, asthma, only a doctor's approval, high blood pressure or heart conditions, particularly in obese clients, only with a doctor's approval. Metal plates or pins and bones adjacent to the treatment area. Implanted electronic devices like your pacemaker and your high temperature. For full list of contraindications, see your consultation form. Effects of facial thoracic treatment. Stimulation of sensory nerves. The primary reaction is one of a mild prickling sensation underneath the pads. This is due to the stimulation of sensory nerves and seizes as soon as sufficient intensity of current is applied and muscle contraction is brought about. This sensory stimulation causes reflex vasodilation of the superficial blood vessels producing a slight erythema in the area. Sensation may be increased once the skin's resistance has been broken down and the current is able to penetrate further into the skin. Stimulation of motor nerves. A thoracic type current stimulates the motor nerves and provided the current is of sufficient intensity, causes contraction of the muscles which they supply. To avoid tetanic contractions, the current is surged. To avoid muscle fatigue developing, the current is also interrupted to allow the muscle to rest between contractions. Increase venous and lymphatic flow as the muscle contracts and relaxes.
they exert a pumping action on the veins and lymphatic vessels lying in and around them. Increased metabolism, there is an increase in demand for oxygen and nutrients and an increase in waste products. A mild erythema is produced under the pads due to dilation of the superficial blood vessels. When a muscle is exercised, it increases in tone. It responds more readily to a stimulus and becomes firmer. It becomes stronger and more able to hold the contours of the body more firmly and effectively without strain. When you speak of muscle bulk, in order to increase the bulk of the muscle, it is necessary for it to contract an adequate number of times against the resistance of a suitable load. When a muscle is very weak, the weight of the part of the body that it moves from an adequate load and therefore electrical stimulation can be of assistance in restoring muscle bulk. Points to remember. Although muscles has a good supply and fluid supply, so conducts current well. Adipose tissue does not, and a larger client will have less sensation and may require a higher intensity. Tetanic contractions get their name from the medical condition tetanus, which causes muscles to go into spasm, as is lock jaw. It often causes a person's neck and jaw muscles to lock, making it hard to open or to swallow. It is an infection caused by bacteria. When the bacteria invades the body, they produce a poison, a toxin, that causes painful muscle contractions. Tetanic contractions are muscular spasms or stiffness. The current is surged gradually to increase stimulation in a smooth contraction to avoid such spasms. Reasons for using phoratic treatments. Strengthens muscles, tones the face, Specific muscle areas can be targeted, replaces normal exercises. Phoratic treatments are like any exercise. A regular course of treatments, say twice a week for six weeks, is far more effective than just one treatment. Results will be even better if the client also does a home care exercise and has a good skin routine. For phoratic facial work, there are three types of electrodes. Facial block electrode is most widely used. It is easy to hold in the hand, has both an anode and a cathode in its casing, which is made of rubber for insulation, and both wires red and black go into an outlet on the machine. Some of facial block electrodes have an intensity built into them, but most commonly the block is held in one hand, placed on the face and the current turned up on the machine by the other hand. A mushroom or disc electrode is not widely used, but some companies still provide them. The advantage of the mushroom electrode is that as a single application rather than dual application of the block, the individual muscle can easily be isolated and contracted. The face mask electrode has the advantage of several points of contact and so multiple applications of the current is easy. It consists of a facial mask as the active electrode and a covered arm pad to go either under the shoulder or strapped to the arm. Its drawback is that it would not be suitable for claustrophobic clients. The best form of home care for muscular development is some simple facial exercises which the client can carry out several times a day to continue the work done in the salon. When treatment is completed, carry out lymphatic drainage either manually or with vacuum suction to the face to help the lymphatic system drain the buildup of lactic acid within the muscles. Let's assume that the facial consultation has gone smoothly. The client has no contraindications. The client is in a suitable position for treatment and you are ready to use your chosen electrical equipment. Thoroughly cleanse the client's skin and ensure all creams and or oils is removed from the skin surface before commencing the treatment. It is still essential to further prepare the skin to be receptive to electrical treatments you are about to perform. Remember, the different types of electrical currents have various effects on the body. Only the phoratic current is used to cause muscular contractions and no electrical current has any effect on the skeleton.
Application. Remove all makeup and jewellery. Carry out thermal and sensitivity tests. Ensure the area is clean and grease free and that the muscles are relaxed by some form of heat treatment or a good massage. Test on yourself in front of the client. Check intensity dials are in the off position. Dample facial electrodes and place on muscle. Turn up intensity control and contract to 8 to 10 times. Turn down intensity control, move electrode to next muscle and repeat. Only turn up the contraction intensity when the block is in contact with the skin and the contraction light is on. This will ensure you do not exceed the client's tolerance. If turn up in relaxation phase, the client may have too strong a sensation. It will be uncomfortable and may hurt. Working upwards exercise in all of the main facial muscles, starting with the sternocleidomastoid muscle. The platysma draws the corner of the mouth as an expression of sadness and fright. Depressor of the lower lip. Resorius aids in facial expression by pulling the corner of the mouth laterally in an outward and upward motion. The superficial cheek zygomatic. The zygomatics major and minor run over the zygomatic bone and the function is helping to smile by pulling the muscles upwards. Laviator labii, elevation of the upper lip. Orbicularis oculi, the corrugator to move the eyebrow down and inward towards the nose and inner eye. And the frontalis lifts the eyebrows. When one contracts the forehead muscle, it causes horizontal wrinkles in the forehead. Let's review. The type of current used is an alternating low frequency surge interrupted current. The aim of facial thoracic treatment is to intensively exercise the individual muscles or group of muscles in the face to firm and tone them, which provides a firmer look to the contours of the face, also known as electrical muscle stimulation, neuromuscular electrical stimulation, Ultratone, slender tone, or slim master. It's a passive isomatic exercise. After treatment, lymphatic drainage should be carried out for a few minutes as lactic acid will have accumulated in the muscles as a byproduct of oxygen and nutrient exchange. Thoracic treatments are like any exercise. Our regular course of treatments, say twice a week for six weeks, are far more effective than just one treatment.